Welcome to the Soulmate Twin Flame Journey for the week of April 2nd. Thank you all for your really wonderful messages to help me get through being sick. Um, but I am recovered now and back here for you. Keep in mind this does coordinate with what's happening with the X where we look at the other person. This is the Soulmate Twin Flame Journey where we're going to look at different groups of people we go in groups and it is um some people have just met their soulmate recently while others actually have been involved with their soulmate for two years or maybe longer it just depends on the person and what's going on so we're going to take a look at different groups check out what's going on and um that will help you gain some clarity through this very the journey itself is very unclear. You know, I call it, when I deal with my guidance clients, I always refer to it as a invisible karmic cloak that is over us when we meet our romantic soulmate that puts us into a spiritual transformation. And that's exactly what's going on in somebody's life right here. We have the Nine of Swords, the Lovers, the Death card, and the Tower. So some of you are very worried, very nervous, very anxious. You can't sleep at night. You are wide awake. And what I'm seeing, and this is a very common occurrence in the soulmate journey, is where you'll wake up between 1, 2, and 3 a.m. every single night. doesn't matter what time you fall asleep you wake up at the same time. If you look at your clock, it may it may show 2.22, or the next day 3.15, and then the next day 2.22. It, it'll be repetitive numbers. You're worried, you can't sleep at night. You know you need to make a choice, okay? This is the lover's card. This is about making a choice in love. For some of you in this group, this is about you making a choice as to whether or not you actually want to tough it out and wait for your soulmate, while others of you are looking at, do I let go of them and move forward? Now, the hard part about it is when we're in the journey, the disconnection, because you come together, this is incredible connection, something is said or done that makes one or both people pull away from each other. That's when the healing begins, when you're not together and no communication is taking place. So some of you right now, what you're going through is the ending of this relationship. You may be seeing that the two of you are no longer seeing eye to eye. You know, again, you come together, it's an amazing connection. You open up and you share with each other things that we don't normally share with somebody that we're recently involved with. But we just feel this innate connection to them that we feel safe. And the reason why is our soul already knows their soul from the other side. So it enhances that connection, making us feel safe to open up and share. But the two of you right now are not on the same page and either you just ended the communication, just ended the relationship, this is a brand new relationship. What I mean is from the time you met your, uh, your soulmate until today, the day you're viewing this, it has been three to four month period of time. You just met your soulmate and you're at the point, the two of you have got along really well and now something was said or done to trigger you guys to pull away from each other. You're worried, you don't know what to do. Do I end this relationship? Do I keep trying to put energy and effort into it. A tower moment took place, okay? This is a change in your life, a change in the way you view something, a change in what is taking place between you and your soulmate. Yeah. Now what you truly desire and so does your soulmate is the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is the happy home life. This is all the love and abundance and joy that we feel for our family, for our friends, anybody that is very close to us, we want this beautiful bubble around us, this happy home, happy life. And again, your partner also is making a decision, the lover's card, a choice in love. 
and they're right under each other. So both of you are right at the same place. Do we continue? Do we end the relationship or do we try to fix and mend and move forward? It's all about opening up emotionally. Your partner is completely shut down. And what I mean is whoever is viewing this, I'm viewing you as the chaser, the one trying to push the relationship together, the one wanting to fix and mend and move forward. The runner in this situation is the person who is not open emotionally. They don't, they don't know how to do it. Now, we have the five of pentacles here. This is a person feeling lack. This could be a lack of finances. This can be a lack in emotions in anything in the material world. Pentacles represent the material world, right? But something has taken place and what I'm actually seeing is your partner may have gone through, you may not be aware of this, what I'm being shown from the divine is your partner actually just realized they are broke, 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 broke. They're broke. They have come out of a relationship where their home life ended. They were involved with another person. They have gone through a divorce, a separation. This could even be the finalization for the child support, things like this. But the fact is, is their situation has uh, turned into a whole different direction and you're not aware of it. They did not open up. They didn't share it with you. They just ran away and you don't know why. I mean, literally, they just ended the relationship and ran away. They did this because they need to focus on, well, obviously they need to open up emotionally. That's clear, they're the runner, they ran away. But they need to work on their finances. They need to put things back in order. So they've gone through this separation, through this divorce and lost almost everything. This particular group, the partner, the one who ran away, had been with somebody, whether it be married or just in a permanent relationship, they had been with them for over 10 years, okay? To give you an idea of who I'm talking to if this pertains to your situation. Three to four month time frame from the time you met your soulmate until today when you're looking at this video, your partner was coming out of a relationship that was 10 years or longer. Okay, that could be 15, 20 years. It was a very long-term relationship, but it was meant to end. It was meant to end, and the two of you were meant to meet each other. You were meant to meet each other to trigger each other to go back and reevaluate things that have taken place in your life. That's the change in not just the existing circumstance, but the change in the way that you view love. Your partner shut down. They went through a lot in their uh, past relationship. It really wore them out. It, yeah, they've been through a lot. Now, they're looking at this from a very different angle. They're looking at it, okay, I need to focus on this. I need to, they've shut down emotionally. They've closed themselves off. They've had a turnover in their life. You may also have the, uh, have just recently experienced some financial difficulty. If you are love life and your finances are tied in together, you also will have felt this, but your partner definitely did. You're worried, did I make the right decision? Did I make the right choice by moving forward? If you ended that relationship, if your partner ended it, because I'm seeing it on both sides, you both were in this process of, do we continue, do we not? And you're worried, did I make the right choice? Did I make the right decision? Is there a chance to reconcile our differences? This tower came into your life as well, not just theirs, but this could be them telling you it's over or you telling your soulmate it's over. A lot of battling. This is a true ending. You feel deeply. You feel that connection. They're pulling you. It's like a magnet pulling you. But yet you know what took place between the two of you is toxic, dysfunctional, and you know that you wouldn't tolerate it from anybody else. So why am I being pulled back to my soulmate? 
because that is actually truly part of the process. And this ending is leading you into a spiritual transformation. Death card, ending. Ending the old to start a new beginning. With the new uh, re revitalized sense of passion of love, the passion of life, passion within yourself, about yourself. So you're getting ready to embark on an actual spiritual transformation. And yeah, it does throw your world upside down. It really does because you'll have this innate uh, connection to your soulmate. Although you're not speaking, you will hear them talk to you as if they're standing right next to you. And it's really, um, unless somebody's experienced it, they're gonna tell you you're delusional, but you're not delusional. This is real, this is really taking place. You will hear them talk to you. Uh, yes, you can argue and fight while you go through this, and I'm talking about on a telepathic level, where the two of you can actually hear each other, have conversations without being physically present with each other, completely far away. Yeah. So what we're going to do right now is see where this is going to go. I'm going to add another card on both ends of this and see where this is going. And then I will take a look at other groups, okay, at least two other groups, and see where you're at in your journey and what is to come. Right now, this just ended. Transformation is going to begin. Worried, anxious, uh, feeling left out in the cold, feeling abandoned. So if you click the link below, it will shoot you to Vimeo. Please, when you go to Vimeo, scroll all the way down to the bottom, select the correct date that you are looking for. Otherwise, it will default to the very beginning. So I will see you on the other side. Much love.